Hi guys and welcome to Monty's Style. I'm Monty's and we're doing fashion. On fashion, for style, we're doing sweaters. And I love sweaters. It is one of my signatures. I always buy sweaters that fit me in a certain way. But if you have a style, make it your signature because I have certain signatures. But sweaters is one of them. And this time we're doing sweaters. So right now we're going to show you the large turtleneck. This is a vintage turtleneck from The Gap. I have some new things to show you too. But I wanted to just show you that this is a vintage turtleneck from The Gap. It's really thick, it has great stitching. So I'm gonna show you some more and I'll be right back with another what turtleneck. Bam! And I'm back. Here we go guys. So I'm wearing one of my favorite colors, which is orange. It's by American Eagle. I love this so what is because they make the best turtlenecks ever. You can wear your turtleneck like this or you can fold it under like this and make it come up to your chin just like that so you can wear your turtleneck nice so it looks good on you. And this is my American Eagle turtleneck. I love this turtleneck. So once again, I enjoy my turtlenecks. You can wear it this way or this way. Whatever makes you comfortable. I actually wear them both ways. So here we go guys. I will see you with another turtleneck on. I'll be right back. And here I am again guys in what? And another turtleneck. This is great. They want me to call it rose. This is not rose. This is pink. But most men look good in pink, red, white, black, and purple solid good bright colors. I don't know why. It doesn't matter what ratio we always do. So this is a beautiful turtleneck. I love it. See, see that? But what I love about this turtleneck, make sure you pull your turtlenecks up. They're supposed to come up to your chin. And you can always not wear them folded in. You can always just bring them out, like I said before, and wear them like that. It's how I wear them. Because I like them just like this, or I tuck them in just a little bit. And when I tuck them in, I pull them up to my chin where they're supposed to be, just like that. And this is why they call this a turtleneck. Stop pulling your turtlenecks down. You're not supposed to do that. Leave them where they're supposed to be. So once again, this is rose color. Pink, pink. But okay, I have a few more or one more. Here we go, I'll be right back. I'm back. Hi guys, this is one of my favorite sweaters. Would you like to know why? Can you take a guess? Take a good look at this sweater right here. I mean, really take a good look at this sweater. I love this sweater. Want to know why? Because it is a button-up turtleneck. It is one of a, I said one of a, it is a Nordica turtleneck. See, it has the Nordica colors and very seaworthy. But I love how it comes up to your neck and you don't have to wear a t-shirt up under it if you don't want to. You can if you want, I don't because I prefer to fill the full 100% cotton because it's such a beautiful sweater. And I mean, I love all the buttons and then I love all the buttons that you have to put into the little knit here. I mean, it's a really cool sweater. So once again, this is a turtleneck Nordica Seaworthy. It's really cool, I love this sweater. Uh, okay, I better stop. But going back to the sweater, just so you can see what it really looks like, you know, my hair in the way, it's really a nice sweater. See that? I love this one, and it's so soft, you just don't know. And it's so thick. Wow, but once again, this is turtlenecks. All right, I'm not gonna do any more turtlenecks. I don't want you to see my whole closet, so I'm going to do something else. Be right back with something new, mock necks. Be right back. And I'm back, guys. <laughs> Wearing what? A mock neck. If you don't know what a mock neck is, a mock neck is supposed to come up to a certain amount of your neck. And it's supposed to fit really, really, really tight right here because it makes you look elongated and taller. So, and if you buy a mock neck sweater and 
you buy a large and so you go, why is it fitting like this? Our um, mop next to it is always supposed to fit you very little snug. It's supposed to make you look really lean. So, this is a purple mock neck. It is one of my favorite sweaters. I love it. Can you tell I like it? So, once again, this is a mock neck. And so a mock neck never comes up to your chin. It's like in the middle of your neck. And that's why they call it a mock or mock neck. It's one of the two. I'm gonna tell you both names. So I'll be right back with another mock neck. And I'm back guys. Here we go with another mock neck. Black mock necks are always really cool. You should always buy your mock necks in only three colors. White, black, and purple. If you want to buy green, go, go ahead. But I'm telling you, mock necks only look good because they only come to your neck about here and they make you look so lean and they're so nice to wear. But only get them in certain colors. That's my opinion, don't go on my opinion because I even have a mock neck in pink in it so it looks great on me. But I sort of go, oh, it doesn't fit right. But that's just me. But how do you like it? I got one more. Oh, no. And gray. Don't forget the mock neck in gray, okay? So I'll be right back with another mock neck. I'm back, guys. And how do I lie? I have on a green mock neck because it's one of my favorite colors. Green is one of my favorite colors. Green, black, and white. But just so you know, I'm telling my personal business. I shouldn't tell you that. But yeah. Green is one of my favorite colors, and I just told you that you shouldn't buy a mock neck in certain colors, but I do, see? It's in green, and it looks great, right? Because look how nice and lean it makes you look. I love a mock neck, because it comes right about here. It doesn't choke you, it fits nice. And what I love about this, this one, it has a brown zipper, it gives it some color. So, once again, this is Monty Style doing what? Sweaters, and we'll be back with what? heavy duty sweaters. I'm not going to show you all the mock necks because they're mine. You might see me in the street or driving a car and go, I, mm, yeah, okay, okay. Be right back. <laughs> Hi guys, and I'm back. And guess what? I am doing heavy duty sweaters. And you see, a heavy duty sweater should look really thick. It should really be falling off of your body. It should make you feel really, really, really comfortable. And this is why I like heavy duty sweaters because you can only wear a t-shirt up under. And if you're going out, just throw a scarf on butter and a hat and jump in the car. Because they're so thick, they keep you so warm. This is something that I enjoy about a really good thick sweater. So, alright guys, I'm freezing. I gotta go. I'll be right back with another heavy duty. And I'm back guys with another heavy duty sweater. Which I'm telling you, I love heavy duty sweaters. Cause, Cause like I said, they should look like they're falling off of you, but feel very comfortable. And when a sweater looks comfortable on you, everybody actually notices you. They always go, wow, he really wears his clothes nice. But it's just the way the sweater hangs. Doesn't matter what type of body you have. Heavy sweaters look really good and you should always buy your size. Cause if you buy a bigger size, then they're going to be a little bit too big. But if you buy your size, they'll hang just right there. Be over your hand and stuff like that is pretty cool so now that you're looking at my heavy do sweater gonna show you one more because we only look good in certain colors and i'll be right back for heavy duty and i'm back guys with another heavy duty sweater black i love this one because it makes you look a little more leaner thinner but I love my heavy duty sweaters because they feel comfortable, they don't feel too tight, everything, it's, it's not showing anything, but it's showing how my shoulders fit, how, how I look in these sweaters, so I love this, I love this, so once again, this is my heavy duty sweaters, so, alright, I'm not going to show you any more of my heavy duty sweaters, I'm going to show you what, my hoodies, I love my hoodie, my hoodie sweaters, I'm only going to show you two, because if you figure out that they're really nice and comfortable, you're gonna be dressing like me, but you should go out and get you a hoodie sweater. I'll be right back from my what? Heavy duty sweater. Ha! What's up? Have on my hoodie sweater. I love my hoodie sweater. Once again, guys, hi. If you're gonna buy sweaters, buy them all. Buy something that is your style. See, my style is not that different than everybody. It's just a little off and a little on. So once again, you like the hoodies? Pretty cool, huh? I love the hoodie sweaters, because you know, 
they come long, they come down to here. You put your hands in your pocket. You put some sweats on. But you know you'll be walking. You know what I'm saying? This is a really cool sweater. I love this hoodie. Cause you know, hey, take it off. And you can put it back on. Everybody loves their hoodies. I do. Who doesn't love a hoodie? Hey. So once again, I'm gonna show you my other hoodie because I have several of them, but we gotta get through these sweaters. But this is a hoodie sweater and I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back. What's up guys, got my hoodie on again. This is one of my favorite hoodies. So let me tell you something about this hoodie. This hoodie here is something I've always liked and people like seeing me in it. I don't know what it is about this outfit, but you know it hangs really nice. The hoodie is really cool. I think the orange is really nice. You know, you put on some really cool sweatpants, you know, make it about you. So when you make an aesthetic about you, people notice you. It makes your aura like go pop. So like I'm saying, every time I wear something different, it makes me a different person. So, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? But isn't this hoodie cool? I said hoodie, but it's a hoodie. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> There's nothing like dressing up. Men act like they don't like to dress up, but look at the ministry. It took them a while to get themselves together like that. So, hey, enjoy my hoodie though. What's up guys? So, I'll be right back with something else. What is it? I'm coming back with long, and I mean long and strong sweaters. Be right back. Uh... Hi guys, and here is our last bit of the sweaters. This is called a heavy duty long sweater. I love them because if you're warm blooded and you don't like wearing coats, all you need is this sweater and a scarf. I, I, I mean, it has pockets, it's really cool. You can keep your hands in it with your gloves. And if you don't need a scarf, you just take off the scarf and you, you don't have to use it. You, you know, look at this. This is very comfortable, you can walk around in it. It depends on who you are. See, this is my aesthetic. I love things, I love big clothes, I love tight clothes, I love everything to fit me well for me. So once again, isn't this a really cool sweater? It's a long, heavy duty sweater and it's knitted really well. I love everything about it. Get yourself a pair of jeans, some sweats and put this on. You know, and you can wear, see I'm wearing a sweater on top of a sweater, see? You just need to know how to accessorize. That's all, accessorize. So, we'll be right back with one more long sweater that I wanna show you. So enjoy this sweater, bam, I'll be right back. Hi guys, and once again, I'm wearing one of my long sweaters. And remember, I said if you're warm blooded, this is what you should be wearing, a sweater and a scarf. And if you don't want the scarf, just take the scarf off. But this is one of my favorites sweaters because it's a wool sweater. It's really warm, keeps you warm. And all you have to do is put, put on your favorite sweater up under it or a thick T-shirt. If you don't want the scarf, take the scarf off is what I suggest, you know? Because I like to show my clothes and I like the way they look aesthetically on myself and other people. So hey, I'm gonna give you, and I love the way it, it buttons. See, it has a button here and a button and it clicks here and then it clicks here. So just click it back. I think it's a magnet, I'm not sure. But hey, I love this sweater. It's really warm because it's a wool sweater. And it has a hoodie. I love the hoodie. If you can see the hoodie in the back, I love that. So, but it's one of my long sweaters. It's one of my long wool sweaters and that's it. So. Hey guys, we are done with sweaters. Our next, next segment, yes, I said that. Our next segment will be on jeans. And then the next one, I'm not telling. But once again, this is Monty Style doing fashion. I'm Monty, and I like to give you a quick note. If you enjoy your own style, wear it. If your wife buys you clothes and you look good in them and people have certain comments, ignore them. They're just jealous. And remember, if her friends are laughing at you, ignore them, because look at their husbands and look at you. 
your wife is dressing you to what? Today's world. And I like that. So always be appropriate and aesthetically look good. So when you find your own style, do it. If your wife finds a style for you and you like it, do it. And even if you don't like it and you're going out, I think she might be doing the right thing to keep you in what? Today's time. So once again, I'm Matisse. This is Matisse Style. I will see you soon, because we will do a what? Jeans. All right, guys, I'll see you again. Love you all, bye. Gotta go, bye.